during my MFA years, one of the things I had to deal with was transitioning from storytelling in my language, which was the language that my, my grandmother and my father used, to storytelling in English and thinking about how I was going to go about it. Because it was clear to me that it wasn't going to be simple. When my characters speak to me, they speak in Debele, which is my native language. And the stories I tell myself in my head are told in my native language. Um, but then, of course, there was this other language, the language of instruction, the language that the books I grew to love were written in. And being in that space demanded of me to kind of negotiate the two, you know, negotiate and, and find a balance between the two languages so that English could work for me. It was a process that um, it was a process that needed me to marry both languages. And I was very anxious to have the influence of my language be present. And I believe that it kind of shapes the way I write today. Because I write not just for the reader who reads, but I imagine a listener somewhere listening to my, um, listening to my work. I was and I am obsessed with words, language, sound, voice, and picture. And that is for the most part how I went about writing We Need New Names.